<laughs> What's good, Lanko people? I'm Ant, and welcome back to another video. If you couldn't tell, I'm still in America, whipping around these streets. I thought I'd bring you guys to a 7-Eleven here in America, just so we can compare the differences, you know, see what, see what it looks like. But, spoiler warning, it's not so great. At least from my memory. Uh, but let's go find out together. Okay guys, so here we are. Uh, first thing we notice are the chips, which there's plenty of them. A lot of these brands obviously don't exist in Japan, but the biggest difference and takeaway is just the size of the bags. I mean, these are like full family size bags. Honestly, most of the products here are gonna be similar. You know, this 7-Eleven is gonna have most of your daily necessities. The only difference being is that the type of brands that they have and I guess the size and the packaging and some wines, champagnes. <coughs> then we got some medical stuff. So very familiar for you guys. You know, we got the same thing in the 7-Elevens in Japan. Uh, we got all the drinks. A lot of Starbucks stuff. Uh, teas have become pretty famous. Here we go. We've got some teas. I haven't tried these, so I cannot vouch for them if they are good or not, but I'm pretty sure they are chocolate sugar. Uh, you see extra sweet, sweet tea, unsweetened tea. We have the famous uh, brisk tea. Uh, this is really popular, but also jam-packed with tons of sugars. And we just got sodas, healthy like sports drinks. Gatorades, we got our waters, energy drinks, Red Bulls. Look at the cans of our big monsters. These things are pretty massive. Uh, more beers. And yeah, okay, let's go back. So this aisle, we have all our sweets and candies. These are super sweet. If you don't like sweet can uh, chocolate, please stay away from that. Those are dangerous if you can't handle sweets. Uh, and I used to eat these as a kid. Love those. All candies in America are very sweet, so just be careful. On this side we got peanuts. This is more considered like your uh, the type of snacks that complement, you know, drinking, you know, beers and stuff. This, we just have sodas and some more chips. Uh, we actually got some instant ramen bowls. Okay. Sriracha. Uh, chicken, hot and spicy. Lime chili flavor with shrimp. Mexican rice bowl. Rice bowl chicken flavor. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got some sweets, some donuts, some cookies. We have our coffee area, as well as the big gulp. Look at the comparison. People get these, actually. They usually use big gulps. For these, Slurpees. Different fruit flavored ices and smoothies. Slushies are really nice. I used to get them all the time as a kid. Um, actually, this 7-Eleven is not too bad. I still honestly wouldn't trust eating the food here, like these kind of foods, the sandwiches, the pizzas. Uh, no, you can find better grocery stores. But other than that, they're pretty nice. Wasn't too bad. 
uh, at least this one. Uh, there's definitely some others that are more dirty and just give off a very uncomfortable environment. In terms of products, it's sort of the same. It's hitting your daily necessities. You've got food, snacks, drinks, hygiene, medication, little tools. Convenies in general in Japan are known for their bentos and how good the food is. People, a lot of tourists, foreigners can go to Japan and live off of konbini food. It's not the healthiest, but they can do it. Don't try that with 7-Eleven here in America. Um, you, you will not be happy. Uh, you guys didn't see it because I didn't want to film the cash registers. In Japan, customer service is pretty is pretty high. They have you know a sort of a welcoming vibe. My experience with uh, this 7-Eleven, I bought me a drink, and uh, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. No welcoming vibe about the person. That's just one of the things to to know is that the customer service is not going to be probably on par with how it is done in Japan. Those are my thoughts on the 7-Eleven. I'll give you one little bit of advice. If you do come to America and you happen to come to the East Coast, that's where I live, and you want to try a, a gas station with a high and good reputation, one of my favorites is called Wawa. Um, and right now I'm currently in the parking lot. Um, I can try and take you in and just do a quick walkthrough. Wawa. So let's go. So this is Wawa. You can see it's much bigger. The interior decoration is much cleaner. And the food is much more trustworthy. Healthy food. Fruits. That's nice. Some salads. And then you can order your own sandwiches. Here you can order your your items, but I'm pretty sure they have a, they used to have a secret menu. I don't know if they still have it. And all the snacks, drinks, they're all gonna be pretty much the same, but this is just a much better environment. When I used to live here, I would get off work and I would come to Wawa to grab a quick bite to eat, but that's it guys, so. All right guys, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed this little experience. And uh, let us know what you guys thought about in the comments. What did you guys think about, you know, the convenience stores or the gas station here in America? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all the YouTube stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video.